cops. Uh, if, if you're being investigated, blame the cops. Uh, Jim Comey's not responsible for a single one of the facts at hand. He didn't tell her to use a private server. He didn't tell Uma not to turn over all of her devices. And God knows he didn't tell Anthony Weiner to send sexually explicit texts to allegedly underage people. So Comey's not responsible for any of this. The timing is, is a direct and natural consequence of decisions that Hillary Clinton made. So I get that Podesta is upset. Brett, remember, he didn't even know about the email situation, and then he thought it had been taken care of by Cheryl Mills and Patrick Kennedy. So I get that he's frustrated. He's just frustrated at the wrong person. Now, do you believe that he, Comey, would have gone forward with this having no inkling of what's inside that computer? Um, I do think he has an inkling what is inside that computer, but he's in a really difficult spot. Unusual, tough facts make for, for tough conclusions. Um, and he's darned if he does and darned if he does. And I mean, keep in mind, Brett, let's assume tomorrow morning Hillary Clinton went before a rally and said, the FBI has investigated me, I've been cleared, that's all in the rearview mirror. Well, Comey knows that that is not true. So, so if his obligation is to the public, why would he not let us know? Investigations are never over unless there's a verdict or statute of limitations expires. So if he had not told us that they had re, uh, reopened the investigation, uh, then he, he may be in trouble with Congress, but he certainly would be in trouble with the public. They have a right to know, just like they have a right to know if I get stopped for speeding all the way home tonight, which may happen with the Dallas game coming on, or <laughs> another member of Congress is charged in the next week. This notion that, that an election tolls the criminal justice system is laughable. I, I've never heard that before. Tonight we're hearing that some former prosecutors may put out a letter about uh, Jim Comey's actions, and here is Harry Reid's letter tonight to Jim Comey. Your actions in recent months have demonstrated a disturbing double standard for the treatment of sensitive information and what appears to be a clear intent to aid one political party over the other. I'm writing to inform you that my office has determined that these actions may violate the Hatch Act, which bars FBI officials from using their official authority to influence an election. Through your party Partisan actions. This is Harry Reid. You may have broken the law. The double standard established by your actions is clear. Your reaction, Congressman. Well, thank God he's leaving uh, is my initial reaction. My second reaction is I did not know Mormons use drugs, and anyone who is capable of sending out that press release has to be under the influence of something. The person responsible for this fact pattern is Secretary Clinton. Uh, Jim Comey did not tell her to use a private server. Uh, he did not say uh, mislead the public about whether or not you turn over all your work emails. He certainly didn't say, hey, Secretary Clinton, why don't you say there, you neither sent nor received classified information? So, uh, look, uh, Senator Reid is a political hack. Uh, Jim Comey is a law enforcement officer. Uh, he's not a Republican or a Democrat. I've had my differences with him in the past, but, but he's not a political hack like Senator Reid is.